prayer, almsgiving, three things that have everything to do with Lent, I'm going to remind you why we do this. There's a lot of reasons to do all of these things. Our relationship with God, which is what prayer really is. My name is Gabriel Chenevik. Yeah, I would say right now I'm dating Jesus. And then we'll be courting this November, and then he'll ask me to marry him the next November. No, two Novembers from then, and then we'll marry. So I'll be like 26, I think, when I actually marry Jesus. Honestly, every day in the comment, you learn something about yourself, and and you, as you draw closer to God and become more and more the person He wants you to be, you just find more and more happiness. And I find myself doing what I've always wanted to do, and and I'm just happier than I've ever been, just because I'm doing His will. One of the workers of the vineyard is an order of nuns in the Chaldean diocese, brand new. I think it's only like five years old. It's not the typical convent order that we're like detached from the diocese. We're diocesan, so we're, our authority comes directly from the bishop. The Chaldean church is like the cornerstone, in a sense, of, of all Catholicism. So if you really wanted to plunge into the depth of your faith, like if you were really religiously involved and you wanted to know as much as you could and get as deep as you can with it, then the Chaldean church is, is sensibly the only option just because it goes the deepest. It, it's like the first, the, the foundation of everything. Um, the, okay, the, what don't I like about the convent? I don't know, the cookies that Sister Jarbitha makes sometimes, they could be a little burnt.